He's gonna go with a really effective tornado right there, and wow, things are not looking good here, but Rocket's gonna come and save the day, and look at that, everything is gone, Golemite's everything. Hey guys, Lutra right here, and welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we have got Crafter here on the channel. Crafter, if you guys didn't know, is one of the top motorcycle players in Clash Royale at the moment. Really impressive profile, and he's gotten up to 158th in the world using this motorcycle deck variation. Now, just as a quick side note in the post-editing, he actually managed to reach 6,400 trophies using this motorcycle deck, so that's definitely really impressive so anyways guys today we're just gonna be going ahead and hopping into a couple of replays and at the end we're gonna go ahead and jump into a live match on the ladder so without further ado let's go ahead and hop into this first replay against fizzo Alright, so Fizzo here from the clan Game Over, he's going to be playing a giant double prince deck. So that's definitely not an easy match, especially with three spells. So how in the world are we going to break through? So anyways, Crafter here, he's going to start off with some fire spirits at the bridge. He's just going to let it connect onto the tower. And look at that, that's 500 damage just down the drain for Fizzo here. And uh, of course, Tesla is just so solid on defense. And as you can see, the bats and the spear gums make a very nice zap bait synergy together and as you can see tesla spear goblins knight really effectively just demolish that push right there so really effective first defense right here and that prince will go ahead and take out that knight um see how he's gonna defend that actually he only has fire spirits so uh, let's see. He's gonna go. Oh, wow. Fizzo actually goes with uh, predictive arrows, but uh, Crafter is gonna very effectively take that out with a fire spirits and a log. And here he's gonna go with an offensive mortar. His opponent's actually really low on elixir, so the bats right there will try and DPS down that as fast as he can. Uh, Dark Prince does get a hit, but the mortar is locked onto the tower. Look at that. Fire spirits will dissolve those minions. Mortar is locked onto the tower, and wow, that's just a. Uh, Really impressive play right there, knowing that his opponent was low on elixir and playing that offensive mortar to get that lock onto the tower. So now he's got a really solid uh, lead going into the second half of the match. Let's just see how he continues to, you know, improve the lead and take a tower. So anyways, he's gonna go just cycle a log. Uh, one thing that I've noticed from his playstyle is he plays motorcycle quite aggressively. Like he'll always start off with, you know, just some play at the bridge. May that be a mortar or something like that. So anyways, here. He's gonna go in with a mortar. He's gonna go in with some bats to DPS that down. As you can see, he baits out the zap, so then the spear goblins will not be able to be taken out. And uh, yeah, look at that. Tesla's DPSing down that giant, and uh, that prince is also going down as well. Uh, and I don't think he needs to play anything else. And look at that. No hits from that giant onto the tower. And as we enter double extra time, this is when the real tough thing, the tough part starts. As you know, beat down generally does a lot better in double extra time. So, anyways, here he's gonna go with a mortar in the back and look at that uh, oh i thought that mortar was gonna lock onto the tower for a second but um looks like it is locked onto the prince for now but as you can see here tesla will go ahead and you know take that stuff out unfortunately the prince will target onto that tesla and we've got a pretty healthy giant on the tower actually but he's gonna go with an offensive mortar again to pull the giant back in the center he's gonna go with a dark prince right there to go ahead and distract the mortar he's gonna go with a tesla right there to defend that push tesla has so much damage and it's just absolutely Absolutely shreds pushes here he's gonna go with a prince in the back crafter is just gonna keep cycling the log you want to play it safe especially when it's not an easy matchup by any means so anyways here uh spear goblins right there get zapped out knight will go and tank for that tesla right there he's gonna go get some fire spirits down and another tesla down to go ahead and dps down that prince here uh bats down will go ahead and take down that dark prince unfortunately it gets a hit onto the tower but the mortar is unfortunately also going to get distracted on that prince here Spear Goblins will go and take that out with the help of the Fire Spirits. And he's just going to go with a defensive Tesla right there. Mortar is going to be locked under the tower. Can it get a hit? Looks like it's not going to get a hit onto the tower. Oh my god. This is definitely going to be a really difficult game. He's actually pretty much tied up the damage. But Crafter here is going to get another Mortar down. He's going to go with some Spear Goblins right there. And uh, let's see, our knight down to go ahead and tank for that Dark Prince. Tesla right there to go ahead and defend that Prince. And uh, let's see, your log right there will, okay, stop the Prince from getting any damage onto the tower. And uh, yeah, we're just slowly just chipping away. And uh, let's see, your Spear Goblin's down. We'll go ahead and take that out. He's going to go with a Mortar to go ahead and pull it, taking advantage of that defensive Tesla. Mortar's locked onto the tower. Look at that. His tower's down to 1474. And wow, that's, that was a really well-played lock right there. He's going to go with some uh, Fire Spirits right here. 
It's gonna force out a response. Mega Minion right there. Mortar actually gets another hit onto the tower. Now the tower is down within two rockets right there. So, of course, Crafter is never afraid to go with that rocket cycle, especially when that tower's down. And here, oh, really smart play right here. He knew Crafter was gonna go all in, so he went with Spear Goblins right there. Spear Goblins will take that down onto log range. He didn't even need the second rocket, taking the tower down right there. Wow, that was a really well played match against a really difficult matchup. Alright, so it looks like this next match is going to be against Boosted Noob from the clan Zion Fire Skull. And uh, starting off, as you can see, Crafter is gonna be a lot more aggressive. He's gonna go ahead and just straight up start off with a mortar. He's gonna go with some minions right here to go and take that out. But as you can see, Bats right there will DPS down those minions enough so that the mortar can get a second hit onto the tower. So really good start right here. Tower's already down to 3026. And um, yeah, you're just gonna go with some spear goblins. Try and DPS down that tombstone. Tombstone is a really annoying card for mortar cycle players, just because you know those skeletons really do a good job at distracting the mortar. So anyways, here with that incoming lava loon push, he's gonna go with a knight in the back, just a tank for all the supporting units as a Tesla gets placed right there to go ahead and pull everything here. Uh, Crafter is gonna go ahead and rocket out that balloon right there, and uh, the Tesla will go ahead and take out that balloon. Tesla actually is gonna survive and help with those lava pups and spear goblins will pull those guards right there and take those out and they're actually going to go into the right lane and get some chip damage onto the tower as well so really good placement right there making sure the spear goblins just constantly get chip damage onto that one singular tower so anyways here mortar goes down he's going to go with um tombstone and minions unfortunately that's gonna that's gonna spell doom for the mortar that mortar is not going to connect onto the tower but it does get a hit onto the tombstone so that thing is gonna go down relatively soon clearing the way for another other mortar but here boosted noob here is once again at 10 elixir so of course he's gonna go ahead and play that lava hound this time he's gonna go same lane into the mortar which i don't know if that's a good move or a bad one generally when i play lava loon i like to go same lane but i don't know that's just me <laughs> i'm pretty bad uh but anyways here uh knight right there once again just rinsing and repeating knight to tank for the support uh tesla down to dps down that lava hound as soon as we can he's gonna go with a fireball to take out that tesla but tesla still is surviving in a little bit and uh, here fire spirits very effectively take care of those lava pups being very careful to stagger those troops so that he, um boosted noob here doesn't get any zap value onto all his stuff so anyways here uh he's gonna go in with a mortar and a tesla unfortunately that balloon is just gonna shred everything and uh he's gonna have to go ahead and go with some bats as well to go ahead and take out that balloon push so this is definitely not looking too good right here going into you know about 30 seconds left in regular time so with 30 seconds left um He's going to go in right here with a center placed mortar. And uh, let's see, another Tesla right here. But Fireball is going to come down. And oh, that was just a disastrous Fireball. Oh, man, that got so much value. And here, uh, Boost to Noob here is going to reload with a Lava Hound. Now here, a Crafter is actually going to go in with a, a Knight offensively and go in with a defense, uh, an offensive mortar as well. Knight will go ahead and actually take out those guards. Hopefully, no, one of the guards survives. But here, he's going to go ahead and get some Fire Spirits on to those minions Ooh, actually predictive zap takes out those fire spirits really well played right there and here all this stuff right here but nope rocket's gonna come down get out of here no push anymore and he is not gonna be connecting onto that tower really clutch rocket you know if your finger had just slipped the tile there things could have turned out a whole lot differently so here uh mega minion down he's gonna go with some uh bats and yeah, Mortar's gonna actually get another hit onto the tower. Really well played right there. And, uh, yeah, let's go. So he's gonna go with some spear guns at the bridge. Unfortunately, it's actually gonna run right into that Lava Hound. He tried to get some chip damage onto the tower, but, you know, Boosted Noob just wasn't having it. Uh, so, anyways, here, Crafter is going to go ahead and rocket out that balloon. You know, no other really effective answer. And, uh, here, Fire Spirits, Predictive Zap again, taking those out. Oh, my gosh. This guy is actually so good with his zaps. Uh, but, anyways, here, things are not looking good at all he's gonna actually go in with a defensive tesla he's gonna go ahead and get some fire spirits down and oh my god those fire spirits actually provide so much value here so anyways here boosted noobs gonna reload with a tombstone and crafter as he reaches 10 elixir is going to go with that offensive mortar and boosted noob thinks he's got the game in the bag but you know what crafter has still got a couple tricks up his sleeve so first off he's gonna go ahead and rocket out the mega minion and the minions is a six for six trade so that is a 
good trade for craft or at least it's an even trade that takes out a lot of annoying troops anyways here uh, Tesla will go ahead and shred those lava pups and he's gonna go in immediately with another offensive mortar right here and here the mortar is gonna lock onto the tower for a couple of hits here so that's definitely really good actually I think only one hit two hits onto the tower oh man this is actually such a close game fire spirits will go ahead and take out those minions he's gonna go back to another mortar and uh, let's see here uh, he's gonna go with a knight to tank and that mortar is going to get a, sh a shot onto the tombstone and the log will take that out fire spirits are gonna come down I mean spirit guns are gonna come down take down that mega minion mortar is locked onto the tower guys and look at that the mortar just needs one more hit onto the tower and that tower is gonna be within rocket range can it pull it off mortar gets one last hit tower is down within rocket log range so we're gonna go ahead mortar actually gets one more hit onto the tower right there he's gonna send in that rocket and that's going to be gg beating an insanely difficult matchup i mean yeah these guys definitely know what they're doing so really impressive victory right there and let's go ahead and hop into the last match against ray reef and this guy is going to be using that new meta kind of balloon freeze deck uh really interesting deck really annoying to deal with and as you can see i mean with all of these like tanky units and the balloon and freeze like how, how is the mortar gonna break through especially with the bowler so anyways here crafter is gonna start off with some bats unfortunately no mortar in the starting hand he's gonna start off you know just cycling a couple troops at the bridge and uh, he's actually gonna just you know straight up go with that offensive mortar and here unfortunately the last thing you want to see is a bowler but the mortar actually locks on the tower and here really effective tesla placement it's gonna pull that inferno dragon and gonna go ahead and uh, take out that bowler uh but as you can see here mortars are gonna actually get two hits or uh, yeah two hits onto the tower and uh, yeah really good start uh for him just a slight misplay by ray reef causes him 500 damage and here he's gonna go with the baby dragon of course anything for elixir and up you're gonna want to rock it onto that tower that's generally my rule of thumb i don't know if it's his rule <laughs> but for me uh if it's for elixir and up i will go ahead and rocket it out and here he's gonna go with an offensive mortar to pull that balloon uh that's actually a really nice play right there mortar's gonna get a hit into the tower he's gonna go with fire spirits which will dps down that balloon but no the balloon has just a sliver of health left and here unfortunately uh, he misses a predictive zap and the spear goblins take that balloon out before it deals too much damage onto the tower so even though we did take a balloon hit right there still really effective defense and we are actually still in a 300 hit point lead so definitely really good start for us and uh, as you can see here uh, we're also pretty much tied up on elixir so this is not going to be an easy matchup I know with the classic mortar cycle you can just nato the balloon to the king's tower but with this deck oh wow he's actually gonna give us another rocket value so crafter obviously is gonna take that and look at that that tower is already down to eight 36 so that's just like one rocket and a couple of logs and that's gonna be towers down so obviously crafter can afford to play a little more defensively but no crafter is actually gonna go all in he's gonna try and take that tower down as we had a double extra time so uh as you can see here uh bats will dps down that lumberjack right there and also start working on that um bowler right there so here with an offensive balloon massive push right here is he gonna rock it he's gonna rock it rocket takes out pretty much everything unfortunately it does miss the bowler but you know he got the important thing out of the way the balloon is dead uh so here log will go ahead and stop that bullet from getting any hits onto the tower and of course making sure to always get that chip damage onto the tower so now ray reese tower is only one rocket away from going down of course here crafter is going to go in with that defensive tesla tesla so much dps i can't stress that enough you have to use your tesla very smart to go ahead and win your matches so here he's going to get that final log onto the tower tower is down within rocket range so here Ray Reef knows this is his last possible push. He's going to go all in. And uh, here, Crafter's actually going to pull with that mortar. He's going to save that rocket. Make sure to not use it. He's going to pull that balloon over to the Tesla. Balloon goes down. Very effective defense. Towers within rocket range. Crafter's going to send in that rocket. And that is going to be GG. As you can see, beating an insanely difficult matchup. You got Bowler. You got Balloon. You got Baby Dragons. I mean, what do you want a rocket? All right, so now we're going to go ahead and hop right into a live match so let's go ahead right here he's in a battle and looks like it's going to be against puzzle k from no clan and as you can see your crafter again really aggressive with his starting place is actually gonna go with a mortar and that's actually gonna lock onto the tower as uh, puzzle here plays a night witch in the back and looks like puzzle's actually gonna let that mortar go and defend and as you can see here this is the one thing about this variation you can actually defend with a defensive tesla with the classic mortar cycle you don't you only have one build 
building and that is the mortar if you use it on offense you're basically screwed on defense so here as you can see tesla is actually going to dps down that um golem it's not even going to get death damage onto the tower and here he's going to go in right here with a rocket onto all this stuff right here unfortunately he does miss those golemites uh but fire spirits will go ahead and take that out really effectively and uh, ooh, that mega minion might connect onto the tower he doesn't have that much elixir it looks like it will connect onto the tower really unfortunate right there and um but you know what crafter's still in the lead so he's gonna go in right here with a uh, mortar right here mortar once again will lock onto the tower spear goms will dps down that barbarian and so that mortar is going to get, you know, hopefully one more hit and those spear goblins will connect onto the tower. So that tower is down all the way down to 289 hit points. This is definitely something that you want as a mortar player going into double elixir time, especially with Golem having such an insane advantage in double elixir. Uh, you just want a really good lead going into that. So anyways here, uh, Crafter will cycle a log right there onto the tower. Tower is just two logs away. And a Tesla down, of course, will go ahead, obviously, DPS down that golem. You want to try and get that Tesla down as late as possible to try and conserve as much health as you can. Uh, but anyways here, he's going to go with a really effective tornado right there. And wow, things are not looking good here. But Rocket's going to come and save the day. And look at that. Everything is gone. Golemites, everything. 60 seconds left. Man, Puzzle K is not getting any push close to that tower. That was just an, a godly rocket right there. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead right here. Log and the Spear Goblin will go ahead and take down this tower. Now for Puzzle K, this is going to be the last push. Honestly, I would have just gone with a defensive mortar. But Crafter here, really aggressive. He's going to go offensive right here and look at that it's actually gonna pay off it's gonna force out a barbarian barrel right here on defense uh so yeah anyways here tesla down we'll go ahead once again of course distract that golem right here and all crafter needs probably is just one more really good rocket and that's gonna be game of course rocket's gonna go down and that's gonna be puzzle case sign to go all in right here but fire spirits and knight will do such a good job and bats and spear goblins as you can see there's just so many small spammy units i mean there's just not th uh, that much splash to take it out as you can see he nados away those spear goblins and he's gonna go in with some fire spirits and he's got nothing to take this out three seconds left he's gonna grab a win against a golem matchup oh man and these guys are really really good players as well so definitely hats off to crafter for you know representing the the motorcycle community i'm definitely going to go ahead and give this motorcycle deck a try but unfortunately guys that's all i've got time for in today's video thank you so much to crafter for coming onto the channel i'll link to his twitter down below definitely go and give him a follow but unfortunately guys that's all i've got time for in today's video if you enjoyed please leave a like down below as well as the subscription to my channel and as always this is legend array and i'm signing off see you guys next time